Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this selfie stick. Now you may think when you've seen one selfie stick, you've seen them all, they're all pretty similar, they do the same things, but this one is actually pretty unique and it's got some different features and uh, the more that I've been playing with it, I'm like, huh, I'm kind of impressed with that, that's pretty cool. So you can see in the first place that it folds up really compactly, so it's great to travel, you can just slip this in a bag easily. Um, this is the portion that holds your phone and you can flip it up to use it and flip it down, okay? Um, and then you've got this nice grip handle and you've got this little tie here that you can put on your wrist. So it's nice and compact. Another unique thing is, let me flip this up so you can see it. So this little screw here will tighten it or loosen it so you can adjust the angle how you would like. And it also flips the whole way back. Okay. All right, it's got a great grip here, which I'll show you more closely in a minute. So most of them, you have a cord that you plug into your phone, and then there's a button at the end that you snap pictures with. Well, this actually works without plugging anything into your phone because it has this little battery-powered remote. And as you can see, it's clipped on here, so you can definitely leave that at the base of your selfie stick and use like a normal one, buttons from the uh, bottom here but this also pops off. So you can use this as a remote. So maybe you're not using your selfie stick, you've got it, your phone in a tripod or something. Uh, you're able to use this and take pictures um, without actually pushing a button on your phone. Okay, so here it is. Let's give you a closer look at this remote. Now this pops off this casing here in order to put your battery in, um, but I usually just leave mine on there because it's easy to clip on and it's just as easy for me to use with that base on the back comes with your battery. It actually comes with two batteries, which is nice. I hate buying these cell batteries. So this is a CR2032 lithium cell, three volt. Okay. Uh, I kind of hate buying batteries like this. It would be nice if this was somehow rechargeable, but for tiny little things like this, cell batteries are just commonly what's used with them. And they last a long time. Okay. So here's the remote. Um, as you can see from the buttons, I'll just give you a closer look with this. This button is your shutter switch to take a picture. This one is to switch your camera, so you can switch on your phone from your front to your back camera, which is kind of nice. You can just do that with the flip of a switch without even touching your phone. And then you can zoom in or zoom out here with these buttons. You've got your indicator light here and your on-off switch on the side. So to use this, you'll flip this on and then search for this device through your Bluetooth on your phone. So you will need a phone that is capable of using Bluetooth in order to use this remote. Okay, so once you locate that, you'll just connect to it as you would any other Bluetooth device and um, be able to use it. Now, I can use this through my camera without downloading any, any app. I can't do all the features through my particular camera. Some phones probably could. You could do everything with your regular camera without downloading an app. There is an app that you can download. Mine can definitely take pictures from any button, but I can't do the zoom um, just through my camera itself and you download the app to be able to do that. Okay, so here that is. Let's get back to the selfie stick. Okay, I wanna show you how well this grips onto a phone. Um, I have had tons of selfie sticks that they fall out and drop and it's not only annoying, but depending on where you are, if you're out in cement, like I've really scraped up the back of my phone from it falling off of, um, you know, different tripod holders and selfie sticks. So as you can see here, there is an edge, let me take this out. So this grip here really comes out and down and holds on really tightly um, and is just great for holding. And this ledge here swoops up. Now this isn't one of those that's just that tiny little foam pad, which I'll show you a comparison. This is actually like a hard rubbery piece. So nice, definitely the best gripping tripod I've ever used, okay? So it slopes up like that. So your phone snaps in securely and you've got that little lip there so it's not going anywhere. Okay, let me just show you in comparison this one. Now this is from a, um, from a selfie stick that I've just taken this off and put onto my tripod, which you can screw that off and, and put it places. Um, but you can see it's just this flat piece of foam that is ripping off. So my phone keeps falling out of it and it's just you know, a little foam pad that's easy to compress down and just doesn't work very well. I mean, it is what it is. That's your typical one that you've got on a selfie stick, but this one is actually 
really nice. Okay, so let's show you what we can do with this. Now I showed you how you can adjust this to different angles. Now your stick here, um, everything grips down like this. Uh, it all slides down pretty compact. So to open it, you twist, and then it comes out like this. Okay, now from this point, it's all kind of loose. Simply twist it back, and then it is tight and not going anywhere. Okay, so you've got a long wand here that's good to use, and uh, you can bend this at any angle so you can be comfortable taking pictures. So it's a nice telescoping pole here. It is really sturdy. I mean, most uh, most selfie sticks are kind of cheap. I've gone through like two or three, and I don't use them that much, but um, actually I do now. But as far as taking pictures, like just being out places, snapping them, I don't take too many. It's really intentional for my use, but I am using them a lot now while I'm taking pictures of products and stuff like that because they're just really convenient. And I've gone through several, and I'm not being too rough on them. They're just cheaper and they fall apart. This looks heavy duty like it's really going to last me. And this part isn't going to fall apart, and the pole is just really nice, and you've got a good grip handle. It's just a really well-made selfie stick that I'm so impressed with. Okay, so you can take this now and snap it on here. And it's just like your standard selfie stick, so you can take pictures right there while you're holding on to the grip, no problem. But you also have that option to take it off and use as a remote. So again, to take this apart, you will twist. So don't try to jam it down or jam it out. You have to twist it. So I'll twist it to the side here. And you can see that these circles that are on here just line up. Okay. Okay, and we'll twist back in there. Now some of them you kind of have to keep twisting. So if the piece seems like it jams, just twist it again and it'll go in and then snap it back. Um, that works so that you can use it at any level that you want. Okay, so you can make it as long as you want and it will stay there securely because you untwist it and then snap it into place by twisting. All right, and when you're done with it, just loosen this here and fold it down. So compact, snap your remote on. That's all there is to it. This is a cool little selfie stick.